Hey guys, welcome back to Super Liminal. This is level 3. Cubism is the name of this level. And it's 4 a.m. So we are fast asleep still. Or are we? And uh, here we go again. It's deja vu. So this level, I remember, is, if, if I remember it correctly, was probably my least favorite. Not because it was bad or anything, but just because it was a little bit uh, lackluster. And a little short, too. It was not a bad level, though. There's some cool things in it, but uh, still very relaxing. The next level, though, is uh, probably the scariest level, so stay tuned for that one. Um, I remember level four. At least to some extent. So let's get a... Ooh, what should we get today? I'll go with a green soda. And once again, we destroyed the machine. Let's have some fun with our green soda. Make it massive. That is one giant soda for the receptionist. Enjoy! Hope you like green soda. So, something I forgot <laughs> from the last level. Uh, I'll explain this just a is moment. This an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of somnascal yeah, therapy. Yeah, I'm sure. Who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Is that where I Their am? Their decisions imply a failure of orientation. Hey, watch which it. Which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. I didn't do anything. You will rectify this failure immediately. Is it because I try to take my cheese with me on the first level down to and I tried to go across with it but I failed at that is that why I failed so yeah we got cubes here that's what this whole level is going to be about cubes so something I missed uh, from level two is something I've showed off before in a separate video which is somewhere over here where is ah there it is it's the, well actually there's something else first I want to get I know there's an Easter egg here I know there's an Easter egg. How do I get it? Well, it was up, but I screwed that up. All right, there we go. There's an Easter egg over here somewhere. I remember it. Yep, there he is. There's a pretty Easter egg. I hope everyone had a fantastic Easter, by the way. Whoop. How do I get out of here? Okay. We got our Easter egg, and we're going to head into a constellation room. Not all the levels have one. I think, actually, uh, there are, uh, if I remember, only level one doesn't have one. I think all the other levels have a constellation room, but here we are. This is the constellation room. It looks like I can actually do the constellation again. It doesn't save what I've done. So let's have some, uh, yeah, we got our Easter egg in our constellation room. That is one big egg. Wowzers. Okay. Um, that is some, some, some massive gooey chocolate in there. So, uh, yeah. We have to line this up to make a constellation. It looks like it's a cup. So what do we do? Do we have to click something? Wait, oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe it does count. Because it's not showing up what I'm supposed to get. It's supposed... Yeah. Maybe it... Because I've already collected it. I guess... <laughs> unless I'm wrong again. But, yeah. It's probably... That's the reason why. Because I'm lining it up really really well and it's not doing anything so yeah you can see there's a cup it's like a mug each of them have a different picture so pretty look at that it's just so gorgeous I'm gonna take my egg with me just for funsies why not but yeah constellation rooms they're in every level we'll try to find a few more maybe not every single one but uh, we got um, yeah we're gonna let's just head into the level now cuz uh, we're a little bit behind but then again it's just a short level so we can kind of goof off a little bit oh we can't take our egg with us ah gotta leave you behind well I could save you I don't know I'll just uh, can I put you in a box or something nah, it's okay I'll just I'll just set you down right here you enjoy yourself eggy all right here we are don't mind if I do okay Got a calendar here. March 1991. Hey, it looks like the same calendar as this year. Because that was Easter. And that I think Easter was actually this date as well in 1991. If uh, It was just a year before I was born, but I kind of I remember. Yeah, because the... Let me see. Was it? No, maybe not. I, I You know what? I don't know if these moon phases are right. <laughs> I'll have to check. But either way, 
uh, yeah, this was, this took place, I guess, about a year before I was born, which is kind of neat. That's trippy, though. Yeah, there we are. Can we look outside? Oh, yeah, well, I don't think this is actually outside. <laughs> oh, we gotta die. Give me my dice. Uh, let's make a stair step with it. All right. That was easy enough. I already did that. All right, so where were we now? Can we take the sign? No. What do we do here? Uh, I remember there was uh, something in there. I think there was a chess piece in, in there. That was kind of hard to get, but it wasn't too bad. So let's take our block. I guess we're going to make a little stair step here. pull this yet? Nope, let's do it. Take this, and uh, I guess we'll do that. Let's see if we can get up this way. Yeah, easy enough. Uh, I'll take this just in case I need it. I don't think I do, but we'll take it anyway. Oh, we got some posters here. Oh, there's a calendar. Oh, look! We've got, there's, my birthday's here somewhere. Uh, right there, there it is. I was born that day. Same with uh, Akuma Kira, Spooky's developer. Born on this exact date. We shared the same birth date. 24th, January. Yep, there it was, I was born that day. Let's see, all these holidays. Oh, okay, uh, well, why does it say, hold on a minute. It says 2019. But it's 1991, 1992. What? Oh, that's trippy. I didn't even notice that. It's a little weird. Okay. Uh, cool. I guess we are into the future. Well, now it's really the past, but I guess at this time it was they were looking ahead at the future. Yeah. Cool. They got some stuff. All right. Let's um. Oh, look at the little secret passageway. Well, you know what? I'm not going down there yet. I want to explore. Let me explore. Let me explore. Okay, we got, uh, yeah, um, mm-hmm. Thank you. Do not cross. Well, I'm a rebel, so I cross. Let me in. Hey, this is like back to where, what? Is this back to our, like, our area where we came from and started? That's weird. All right, let's just go down. We're going down. We have to go down to the pit. See what's down here. All right, what do we got? We have nothing except, ooh, we got this. A light. I think we, we'll we need this. Anything else? What is that? Hold on. Ooh, we got some chests. We got a nice... Bronze or gold chest? Okay, that slowly is dropping. It must be like weighing... It must be a light as a feather, because, uh... <laughs> that must be really one light chest piece. And that is not one of the chest pieces to, uh, that I had to collect. That's just This is just a random one. Um, this is not one of the secret chest pieces in the game. I think I... What do I do? Move, okay, just move that. That's easy enough. You stay there. I'm taking my chest piece with me. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Huh. Once this threshold sure is eclipsed about that? by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload. <laughs> well, that's actually true. The emergency exit protocol. Please I seem to have some to really weird dreams. Overload. Yeah, I, uh, my dreams are very strange. They, I don't know, I get like several of them per night and they're just so random. I usually have them where I'm back in high school. It's so weird. I'm hoping I'm not, I'm not the only one. Because <laughs> uh, my high school dreams just keep coming back. I don't know. I'm back in high school again. And then I'm like taking a test or something in my dream and I get a headache when I wake up. Ugh. Math test or something. Algebra calculus. Give me my random soda. Oh yeah! Look at him go! <laughs> nice. Oh, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Chess piece is like, what are you doing? It's like a startled dog. <laughs> I 
Oh boy, I'm having too much fun again. Let's move on. You guys stay there. Can I get a sip of water? All this walking is making me thirsty. All right, uh, we got some very odd looking cubes here with some apples on them, it looks like. Um, guess we're gonna make some stair steps here once again. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Oh, that's trippy. Okay. Yeah, I thought for sure those were cubes. No, those are not cubes. Those are actually just paintings. Uh, optical illusions for the win. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I like that. Employees only. Well, do I work here? I can come in, right? Is there any food back here? Yeah, just goofing off. So this is a pretty short level, I remember, so I can just kind of mess around. I'm trying to make these videos about 20 minutes each, but I don't know how long this is gonna be. Ah, okay. Uh, I actually don't remember this. <laughs> so let's see, oh, all right. Oh, okay, maybe now I do remember. This was weird. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> What are we doing? Uh, okay, let's move that down. I think we gotta get up here. So let's go ahead and move that down. There we go. And uh, I think we can actually get up there that way. Well, I, let's see, are we able to get up? Yeah, let's see if we make a long jump here. All right, ooh, oh, there we did it, yeah. What's going on here? Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive Duck. mental overload implies Whoa. a misunderstanding of all other solutions. Someone needs a plumbing all of job. Which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I'll be quiet. I am not capable of suboptimal oh, suggestions. Oh, shut up! Please I'm gonna make exit you. this dream as soon as possible. Yeah, how? I'm kind of locked within this dream already. You trapped me in it because you fooled me. Yeah, there's a got to do a pl <laughs> that's a rubber. T oh, it's squeak squeak. I never even noticed this, I think. What the I don't remember there being a rubber ducky when I played this the first time. Uh, Ernie and Bert here. I can only imagine Ernie from Sesame Street just going nuts. I love the squeaks. Oh, it's so cute. Look at him bounce. Oh, he's bouncing. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even notice there was a rubber ducky in here. Can I take my rubber ducky with me? Oh, well, um. <laughs> okay, you just you just chill there, okay? Can I rotate you? Oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, no. Ernie would kill me. Uh, Bert, what are you doing to my uh, rubber ducky? Rubber ducky, he's the one. I watched too much Sesame Street when I was little. All right, you have fun back there. He's still bouncing. He's having a good time. Ah, uh, okay, this is kind of neat. We got some cubes. Look, oh, okay, uh, whoa. Um, yeah, that's not a cube. Those are actually just cards, I guess. Is this one of the same thing? Yeah. Whee. Uh, I guess we're gonna take one of these and whoa, what? Where'd, where'd you come from? What was the? <laughs> what? It just like disappeared into nowhere. <laughs> Did it no clip through the floor? I don't know. But <laughs> let's just get up. All right. Yeah, that was strange. Um. All right, let's keep going. We're home. I think we're getting close. Uh, is this okay? Yeah, we can take this block and get up here. So, oh, uh, okay. Thanks. Guess we'll just make uh, stair steps using these blocks. Why not? Can we make it up? Yeah, we did it. I'm gonna take a block with me in case I need it. All right. So we're there's a giant cube here. Is there anything around it? <laughs> that rubber ducky was fun. I didn't even notice that first time I played this. I'm glad I found that. 
All right, so what are we doing? Uh, oh, okay, we can move this out of the way. Oh, we can exit this way. Let's take our block with us. Why not? Whee! And we broke this. So that's where we gotta go. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, they're not gonna just put this up here for no reason. There's gotta be something up here. You know, who knows? Maybe I've been up here before, but I don't remember. Oh, it's a blueprint. But of our, I did it. Okay, I've done it before. So yeah, I do remember this secret little area. I went up here and did the blueprint. So I just clicked on this and it gave me a blueprint. So yeah, little secret Easter egg. Not an actual Easter egg, but this is a game Easter egg. You just uh, collect the blueprints. They're hidden throughout some of the levels. I think there was another one in this level too. I probably already collected it on the first run when I played this the first time. I'm still going to take my cube with me, just in case. Who knows whether secrets lie around here. Alright. Well, let's look at the graffiti first. <laughs> Layers. Yeah. People only dream of ordinary objects. Boring! Alright. got Banana. No rubber ducky on here. Rubber ducky. Okay, let me have my block with me. I'm taking it with me. I wish it was my cheese, but that's okay. What we got? Feeling lucky, so are we. Cool. <laughs> I still had my block with me. Do I get to take it into level four? Whoa, what is the loading screen doing? Uh, <laughs> okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, here we are, level four. I think this is start of level four. Because it's 5 a.m. Let's go press this. So we have reached level four. Awesome. And that will uh, do it for this episode of Super Liminal. That was Cubism. And uh, next we're going to be reaching the scariest level, I think, in, in Super Liminal. I do remember it. It actually kind of freaked me out a little bit. It's not a horror game, but boy, uh, it kind of got me just a bit. I wasn't expecting it, so that'll be fun. So uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.